Hello guys, how we doing? Um, I'm going to quit the sewer bank today. Um, loads of you were saying the greenway is a bit posh, a bit modern. Uh, so let's say we're going for a stroll down the sewer bank. Anyone want to have a look down the sewer bank there? There you go. Um, near West Ham Station, and obviously I'll walk down towards the Plasto Station end. Um, yeah, today's video, um, you probably would have got it from the title and um, the thumbnail, is the England team. Obviously, I did say to you, you know, it announced, didn't I, yesterday. Um, nice to see two West Ham players in there. Well, he's currently a West Ham player, Jesse Lingard. Um, but Dex, obviously, he's a shoe in, do you know what I mean? He's a star, he's going to be starting most of them games. Um, it's great news, you know. Um, Declan Weiss, as I say, shoe in for the team. Been wonderful season. And, you know, and some of the uh, neutraler fans are starting to realise what he's about, you know. Um, it's no coincidence that every time he tweets Dex, the Chelsea fans are there saying come home and the Man United fans are trying to come up with all these combinations of players that they can put together to try and get Declan to come to their ground. But, um, I'm absolutely buzzing, you know, it's, it's great. Like I say, I've always been a club before country, man. So the fact that there are some players for West Ham actually going to be playing, um, you know, gives me a little bit more interest. It's not that I don't like England it's just that there's been times you know I've discussed it many times where you know the Joe Cole eras the Frank Lampard eras the Rio eras where players were overlooked for such a long time but then as soon as they moved to a Chelsea a Manchester United etc they were given their caps where now you know Gareth is a lot more fairer in a way he picks players so you know it, it has given me a bit more invested interest in the team um, Jesse obviously you know a player at Southgate Trust um, you know, and the fact that he's come back and found his form and in he, his, you know, his hot form at the minute. Um, he was always going to come. I don't think he'll start, but, um, you know, you'll definitely be seeing him coming on as plan Bs and things like that. Um, which is a great thing to see. Um, in terms of the rest of the squad, uh, more or less sort of picks itself, doesn't it? You know, the Canes, the Sterlings, um, etc. No Eric Dyer, but he's been awful, you know, played his way out of the form. Um... Loads of right backs at the minute. Obviously, Gareth's giving the players as much time as they can, you know, with the Champions League final and the Europa League final, uh, you know, to just make that final cut. Love that Jude Bellingham got picked, you know, a sensational player, um, you know, and he's that difference maker, you know, that young player that can, you know, be the one that, the unknown, as they call it. Um, Phil Foden, you know, needs to start for me. What a player, you know, one of my favourite players now, you know, got the great mix of Kevin De Bruyne and David Silva together, you know, you can tell he's learned from both of them. Wonderful, wonderful player. Um, I think a degree to get picked as well, yeah. Um, you know, it's nice to see the exciting players, Mount, um, Foden, Greedish, Rashford. You know, England have got some fantastically exciting players this year. Um, you know, technically good as well. You know, usually, we, you know, we can have a couple of good players and, you know, they're, they're very good Premier League players, but there's some technically very good gifted players in there now that are playing with a lot better players as well. So um, that's great to see. Um, obviously, yep, the two Czech boys got picked for Czech Republic as well. Um, so Czech and Sue Fowl, which is good. Obviously, Krull, Kral, whatever you say, it, got picked as well. So you could have potentially in that first game five West Ham players that will be playing with each other next year. With, you know, Sochik, Kral, Rice, Lingard and Sue Fowl all playing against each other. So it could be like a little bit of a mini West Ham derby that game, which would be interesting. Um, but yeah, the England team. Yeah, you know, I'm really reasonably happy with that. Um, you know, someone was asking, you know, hypothetically, um, could any other West Ham player have had a sniff, potentially? I think if Cresswell was younger, um, let's say Cresswell was 25, um, and he just had the season he had had, and, you know, and it wasn't like Chilwell and Shaw in front of him, potentially. Someone like Cresswell, maybe. Um, but I, listen, I'm not, not saying that he should have got picked. I'm just saying people are asking hypothetically. Um, Antonio as a plan B, maybe. Obviously, he's a law, he's a Jamaica now. But um, yeah, not really. Bowen, Bowen's nowhere near the England team. There's too many players that are a lot, lot better than him technically. And, you know, in terms of proving himself with Foden, Sterling, Rashford, Greenwood, you know. So they, they, they couldn't have really got been given a chance. Craig Dawson? Craig Dawson? What about Big Craig? Let's chuck Big Craig in the England team. Let's make him captain as well, shall we? Um, yeah, apart from that, there's not much else. Obviously, uh, Fabianski in the Poland team as well. Uh, we've arguably one of the best strikers in the world this year in uh, Robert Lewandowski. So, uh, 
you know, they've got a bit of a chance. Apart from, they've not really got much else in that team. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll start building up to Euro soon. Um, still a few more West Ham smidgens about. Obviously, Thierry Nervez, was it? Is that his name? Signed from Reading, young player. Quite a decent record in terms of the, uh, you know, the uh, goal scoring at a young age. N not played a senior game yet. But, you know, it's nice to see players like this sign. You know, and it's good that, um, you know, they can see some trust in our youth academy and stuff. Um, and I, I think that's, I'm going to, you know, quote Gonzo a bit here. Not Gonzo, sorry, Gio. Who said that, you know, the fact that the League Cup and stuff like that could be used as a bit of a project this year. Because we're going to have, we're probably have to, gonna have to shaft off one of the Cups this year. You know, I, I know we don't usually go for them anyway. But, you know, the League Cup is probably going to have to be a bit of a project this year rather than a, a real serious go at it. Because... I want them to have a serious go at the Europa League. At the end of the day, the carrot at the end of the Europa League, if you do win it, which we won't, but if you do win it, you get Champions League football. So it has to be a priority, you know? It has to be. Um, yeah, so that was good news. He signed. Um, it sounds like a goalkeeper will sign very, very soon. Moyes has sort of said he's definitely signing now as well. So he definitely would have got the assurances, we assume. Um, I see a question yesterday. I can't remember who asked it. I do apologise, guys. Um, said that it... Sort of loads of rumours now coming out that Moyes is going to get around 75 million before sales. Um, so that's potentially still Anderson to go, Yarmolenko to get out the door. Um, 75 million is a decent amount, actually. I've got to give it if that's true. Um, that's a decent amount of money. But obviously, you know, some of that's going to be going on Lingard if Lingard does sign. Um, but then you could probably go and get one of the strikers you want and still have a few quid left. And then you've got to sell some players and there's some big wages going, you know. With Yarmolenko, if Yarmolenko goes, what's he? When well, it's something like 145 grand a week, so get that off the wage bill. Someone like Anderson as well on big, big money, get that off. You know, and it opens up some new opportunities. Um, like I say, it looks like Crow, Crow, Crow. I keep pronouncing it wrong. Um, he's going to come in. I, I think he will come in, and I think he's Mark Noble's replacement. I know a lot of the Chelsea fans have, you know, been putting it out there that he's the Declan Rice replacement. No, no, no. He's Mark's replacement, you know. He's going to be the one that, you know, is the option when, if and when we need him. And also, you know, if Lingard don't sign, he looks like he's very astute at playing centre attacking mid as well. A bit like Sojet, really. Like, he can play both, but he's definitely a lot better technically. If, if you look at the highlight reels, he's a lot better technically than Sojet. You know, Sojet sometimes his passing could let him down. Sojet's more of a nuisance sort of player, you know, both boxes, winning headers. So, uh, yeah, you know, 75 million is a good amount of money. It is. Um, listen, hopefully the transfers are done quickly. That's the most important thing. Obviously, the Euros don't help. You know, that holds up a lot of things uh, for signings, you know, and it just makes it a little bit more difficult, that sort of three, four-week period. But, um, listen, any news that comes out, guys, we'll put it out there and I'll do it in mid-morning videos or whatever. I'm glad you're all enjoying these videos, though. I've got to say, um, the views have been fantastic for us, you know. We go through little wobbly spells where, you know, the views dry up a little bit. But uh, listen, the last few videos have been like, you know, well over sort of 500 to 1,000 views, which, which is fantastic, you know. And it's, it's all credit to you guys to watching it. Um, if you've got any ideas, guys, on what you want me to talk about or you hear any news, you know, that I've missed, you know, just drop it in the comments. Gives me an idea for tomorrow, doesn't it? At the end of the day, you guys are watching, so uh, it's better that I do the content you want rather than me just trying to think it up all the time. But yeah, really enjoying these walks. Um, I'll give you a last little view of the, uh, what was it? Sewer bank, wasn't it? Sewer bank. And there we go. Thank you guys anyway. Comment, like and subscribe. Until next time, keep believing. Let's go.